Stormwatch 9 weather alert. Good afternoon, everyone. Meteorologist Mike Haddad in the Stormwatch 9 Weather Center. We take you out to a snowy Manchester right now, where, as you can see, the visibility is cut down. The roads are certainly sloppy out there. We've got snow-covered roads in some cases, slush-covered roads in others, and where there's been a lot of sand and salt treatment, it is down to some bare pavement in a few spots. It's wet. But keep in mind, in the coming hours, as temperatures continue to fall, we will see that glaze over with some ice. So no doubt about it, this is something that you have to watch out for if you plan to travel through early tomorrow morning. Take a look at Doppler radar. As you can see, bands of snow pivoting in from a nor'easter that is way, way out to sea. But the back edge of it is brushing parts of New Hampshire with a steady light snow. Having said that, this is not going to be a blockbuster storm. This will not be a paralyzing storm, but it what it will do is create trouble on area roadways because all it takes with temperatures as cold as they are right now is just a coating to an inch to three inches of snow to make it rough out there. If you've been on the roads this afternoon, Afternoon, you know the story anywhere from Concord South. Some of the snow you see in the lakes region, the upper valley, not yet reaching the ground, but over the next couple of hours, it will start to do so as the air saturates. But there is also a lot of dry air beginning to build on into the system from the north. So that means projected snow totals will generally be on the low end of a range that I'll show you in a moment. But still, having said that, again, it's all it takes to create slick road conditions. Notice temperatures where it is snowing on average only in the teens and lower 20s. We should see an average of about a three, four inch snowfall from the White Mountains, point south into the lakes, especially the Merrimack Valley in the Monadnock region, five, six or seven as you get into far southeastern parts of New Hampshire. At this point, based on a lot of dry air nosing on in, I anticipate to be somewhere on the lower end of that range and only a coating to an inch or two in far upper parts of the upper valley and western parts of the White Mountains and the Great North Woods. Winds are playing a factor as well, blowing and drifting snow. However, the winds will actually go much lighter later on this evening. Having said that, with temperatures, as I showed you, well below 32 degrees, it will be very slow right through early tomorrow morning. The good news for the first in the nation primary tomorrow, anything that falls out of the cloud cover, just scattered flurries. So weather should not get in the way to get out and vote for tomorrow. We'll have another important update coming up at four.